how you see the world, how you perceive your place in the world, what you think it's all about, what it means to you, how it feels to you, and what it is you want to say about it all and express as a result of those things. That's what becomes your signature. Thank you so much for tuning in for another episode of Photography Radio. My name is Tomasz and today you are listening to The Woo with Karen Hatton, where she muses up a tasty blend of inspiration, photography and life. Enjoy. Can you imagine your life without photography? No? Then you will love this show. And it doesn't matter if you're a DSLR, a mirrorless or a mobile phone shooter. We're here to help your photography grow. This is Photography Radio. Hey, hey, everybody. It's Karen Hutton, and welcome to The Woo. As many of you know, I wrote a little ebook a few years ago called 10 Steps to Finding Your Artistic Voice. That led to photo retreats in Europe and the U.S. It led to online courses at Calbee One. It led to speaking all over the country on these topics, writing articles, being on podcasts, being interviewed. So clearly this subject strikes a chord with me and it would seem to an ever increasing number of others as well. I think a lot of people are looking for that something more in their photography and in their lives. If we're lucky, we all grow, develop, and evolve. It's the nature of art, it's the nature of life, and it's the nature of existence here on this lovely planet of ours. Sharing it is a nice way to have company on the journey, and some good conversation along the way, like now. Okay, that's what the whole movement is about. It's been about opening a conversation, shining a light into the murk, finding the words to express what can be a complex subject in a simple way so we can all play. Here's one of those words. Signature. It's something you're likely to hear me talking about here on The Woo, so let's get it laid out. If you look it up in the dictionary, signature is defined as any unique, distinguishing aspect, feature, or mark. A signature can be seen, it can be heard, it can be felt, it can be experienced. For instance, you know your mother's voice on the phone. You recognize your husband, your wife, your lover, your best friend's footsteps coming down the hall. You know it's them. You have a way you like to dress and do things, and you know your friend's ways of doing these things. And sometimes you even recognize a person's photography when it slides through your social stream. It's all the result of signature. We all have a particular way we do everything. Our stamp is everywhere. So signature is that stamp that lets you know everyone it's you talking, walking through that glance, that look, that world view, and that photograph that you took and created from that point of view. So now, how is it different from style? I get asked this a lot. My answer is, and it could just be semantics, but I tend to think of style as something more static, like a pattern, like plaid or mini skirts or skinny jeans. To me, signature is more dynamic, more connected to an ever-evolving you, and is more about something that defines you in that way. You could have a signature style, a signature dish, a signature song. See, signature travels with you into everything, whereas style defines a particular genre, or it's like a station instead of something that moves. In the spirit of cross-training, here's how I often frame the conversation from outside of photography so that we can see it with fresh eyes and ears. I know the most wonderful director, voice coach, and mentor. Her name is Maurice Tobias. She coaches many of the top names in the voiceover biz. And she pushes us relentlessly to record in our signature voice. She describes it as what it feels like to be in the presence of your voice. I submit it's true for art as well. So think about that for a minute. What does it feel like to be around someone's voice that you love, that resonates wonderfully, that simply through its very reverberation in the room, its waveform, says more than the words they're saying could ever say. Heck, it might be their voice, like we're talking about, but signature doesn't stop there. Think about your mother or your best friend. You know the way they walk, like I said a minute ago. You know how they like to dress. Maybe their signature perfume. 
You know that it's them walking down the hallway just from the sound of their footsteps. You know when they pick up the phone if something's wrong, just from hello. You know exactly what their expression's going to be when they see dog poo on the sidewalk. You know the way they laugh. You might even recognize their stamp from the photos they take and how they process them. So you see, you know this person from their very life signature. So going back to Maurice for a second, my voice coach, she further defined signature as how you see the world. It's your perspective, your unique take on this multifaceted life experience that we're all a part of. Using voiceover as an example, it is insanely competitive. I mean, it might even be more so than photography at the top end of the biz, because half the time we're competing against celebrities for the same job. And they're all just dripping with signature because they're like, you know, celebrities. It's what they do. They do everything with signature. So how do you compete with that? You only have one hope in hell, I'll tell you that much. Speak in your own highly defined signature voice because no one can do us as well as we can. In an audition, everyone reads the same lines. And all the reads are professionally awesome. At a certain point, there really is no better. Everyone's great. So who gets the job? Well, a few were weeded out because their voice reminds the client of their ex-wife, their hideous third-grade teacher who humiliated them in front of the whole school or whatever. You can't control that. So now it comes down to who's the most authentic, real, true to themselves, and true to the vision of the client's product or the piece or the words that were written. It might go back and forth at that point between a couple of voices, just based on subjective preference. But the person who usually gets the job, whose signature most aligns with the client's vision, and that's who usually gets the job. And the only part of that equation we have any control over is how we show up and play full out and throw down our perspective. No holds barred, no apologies. And that, my friends, is an art. And that's the part that applies to any art form. That's where your signature comes from, your perspective and your take. As I see it, this applies to art and photography and life in general. How you see the world, how you perceive your place in the world, what you think it's all about, what it means to you, how it feels to you, and what it is you want to say about it all and express as a result of those things. That's what becomes your signature. And there's only one you, so therefore, your signature is completely unique. If you show up fully, no apologies, with your signature, we're always going to recognize you. So that's where all my work and passion for finding your artistic voice has come from. It's all of what I put into my own photographic work and art. And after all the disciplines I've excelled in in life, I was a dancer, figure skater, equestrian sports my entire life, singing, acting, speaking, voiceover, did it all professionally, taught all of it. The one thing I know for sure about this whole signature voice thing is it's the one surefire factor that crosses all boundaries. It's what gives you that personal best edge. The way I see it, a signature is your own personal stamp. It's like DNA. It's yours. It shows up in the choices you make, your creations, your actions, your way of thinking and being in the world, the things that you attract to yourself. And photographically speaking, it comes through loud and clear in your images. It's that thing that others see where they know it's one of your images. Because you are embedded in the pixels, recognizable, unhideable, as surely as your bestie knows your voice. Want to stand out from the crowd? Be unique? Be recognized? Well, honey, throw down in signature fashion. Okay, so here's the thing. Here's the little catch-22. If you're like me, when you first hear this, it's like, oh my God, now I don't just need a new camera. Now I need a signature. Where do I get that? What does it look like? How much does it cost? Is it on sale somewhere? Can I get it on Amazon? <laughs> oh, yeah, it's pretty funny. And here's the other little catch-22. Your true, true signature cannot be bought, borrowed, rented, stolen, or otherwise procured from the outside or anyone else. I say this very specifically because I do see people trying to do that, and it never works. The best you can hope for is to be a copyist. A traffic cam, if you will. Ew. 
Your perspective can only be found on the inside. And once it starts spilling out, it will live everywhere. This is the thing. It doesn't compartmentalize. It shows up everywhere in your work, your art, your words, your life, your thoughts, your being. You might even find yourself feeling happier, making better choices, choosing better friends, having better opportunities appear at your doorstep. It's magic. I see it all the time. True, authentic, real signature self embedded into art. Wow, what a concept, huh? I can promise you this. It's surprising, sometimes challenging, and always woolicious. Those are my thoughts of the day. I hope you enjoyed them. I hope they got you thinking a little bit, and I will catch you next time on The Woo. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Hit subscribe on your podcast app. It would mean a lot for us to have you as our regular listener. Head over to photographyradio.com to drop your suggestion for future editions of Photography Radio or simply to say hello. We would absolutely love to hear from you. In the meantime, have a wonderful night and we will be back with more photography in your ears very soon.